My name is Ashish. We are Down the Shore Marketing and... I'm CJ. How are you doing? Uh, so this time, this is Valentine's Day and this is a Valentine's Day special. Uh, so we decided to um, uh, showcase two wines which uh, most people like. Uh, Pinot Grigio is always a big, big sell in Cobblestone. Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, our that? dark reds. Uh, the dark reds. Yeah, it's a the dark Rosado red. It's part of a whole family of reds. Uh, everything from mm -hmm. a Prosecco, which isn't really a red, to a Blanco, which also isn't really a red, <laughs> to a, a medium or a rosé, a dark, and some darkling, uh, sparkling, some darkling, some sparkling <laughs> dark red uh, Proseccos. You just coined a new word. Yeah. <laughs> darkling. Darkling. So let's start with you with yours. All right. Sounds good. So this is the... Masi Masianco Pinot Grigio. This is um, a company that is part of the um, uh, Santo Margarita uh, brand, and they make a lot of Pinot Grigios. And uh, some of the Pinot Grigios that I've tasted in the past have been pretty severe, a uh, very Italian style. But I believe this is a but little severe. severe, meaning they're like um, very tart and very lots of tannins. Not as many tannins, but very very tart and not as citrusy. So it's very almost like Sauvignon blanc if I can call it that. Mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blancs are almost like very, very raw, grapey feeling uh, wines. And that's what Pinot Grigios are. I think they're related. I'm not sure, but I think they're related. They taste very close at times. Uh, but I believe this one is different. So let's try it. Let's give it a shot and see what, what, what it has to say. You first, and I twist, right? There this? you go, twist so and turn. There you, there you go. Here you go, sweetie. Twist and turn, that's what they say. Pour, Pour and then twist turn. as you're stopping. There you go. Perfect. I figured it out. That just makes it, makes it so you don't drip. Hmm? Makes it so you don't drip. Yeah. Usually you have to have the. the the uh, cloth, cloth, right? The, the napkin, yeah. right? And the steely oh, look. <laughs> and the steely look. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. fuego. Well, first I'm just noticing the amber color of this wine. That's... What are the three things we can remember? Yeah, we, we looked at the visuals, right? We look at the color of the wine or the spirit. Yeah, it's like the... Then the nose. Yeah. And then the palate. Right? The visuals? The visuals, meaning what color is it? Okay. That kind of stuff. So right. this is amber, yellow... What do we call it? Golden, right? No, this is your wine. <laughs> this is my wine. Then how it sits in your mouth after after the aroma. Yeah, I'm smelling the nose right now. And definitely a lot of citrusy notes coming through. Apples, pears, lemons, Lime. lemon, yeah. grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, definitely very kind of new worldy, almost like a New Zealand uh, Sauvignon Blanc. And it's interesting that they did that because most Pinot Grigio are not this fragrant, but this one is. Yeah. And I think the way you do it, I was reading, was that the, you let the fermentation continue with the grapes in the pot, and that, that brings out the flavors, okay. the kind of the citrusy flavors. So yeah. they let it sit for like uh, probably a few days for let, for, for, to let all that soak in. Is this the, this is the one that uh, you are talking about the barrels before? Yes, yes. So the barrels are basically off screen. Um, they they are basically uh, in the steel tanks, right? That's what they use. That's, you told me. Yes, and they put it in the steel <laughs> tanks, <laughs> and they let it sit for a few Very hours, nice. and then they let it ferment for a while. In the steel tank, so the steel there's tank, yes. no oaky taste. No, 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 oak, no oak here. And Marion was saying how it tastes kind of irony, metal, metal. It has a metallic taste. Mm -hmm. That's probably because of the steel. steel. But can you really taste steel? It's just that you can't taste it. It tastes kind of irony. Yeah, it has a little non woody taste to it. Tinny. 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 Kind of tinny? Like beer in a can. Mmm. It's I hear you. different from a bottle, right? That it is. Mm -hmm. There you go. But this was it's like the test when you uh, you apply for Irish citizenship. They give you a test, and the last part of the test is they <laughs> give you a can of Guinness, and they say pour it. And the one guy's there goes, oh, no, 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 never drink 
get us from a can. And they say, yes. And he goes, okay, you're, you're in. You're a citizen now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, let's drink to that. Mm -hmm. This is good. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a hang of this. Uh, pouring thing? Pouring thing and the Pinot Grigio uh, in terms of this new kind of entity that is... Yeah, I used to work in my mom. Oh, I didn't work. I volunteered in my mom's restaurant when I was little. And everyone who worked there would teach me things. I learned how to make Gascar go. I learned how to wash dishes. Of course. I learned how to bus. And I learned how to pour wine. I also learned know. about the seven wines of a gourmet night. Making sure that they have uh, an intermezzo after every, um, after every course and different kinds of wines. And one of the things I learned to do is how to pour wine. Nice, nice. It's didn't learn how to manage a restaurant, which would have been much more helpful. But not a poor one. <laughs> Definitely a good skill set to have. Come back over? No, it's cold. Okay. There's a cushion. <laughs> so CJ's wife made us a pasta, mm -hmm. turkey pasta, and this went beautifully well with that. Mm -hmm. um, Wonderful. Full disclosure, we did try this before, so, and we tried it with the pasta, it worked great. It was right. a dry run through. Yeah, it was a dry run, but... A dry a, wine run through. Dry, dry wine run through, yes. Your dad joke. <laughs> there you go. Happy Valentine's That's Day. That's nice. So, what is it? Does it go well with chicken? Or what does it go well? What does it pair well with? It goes well with turkey pasta that he just served us. White meat. Yeah. So, hey, no no complaints. Fish, chicken, Wait, turkey. turkey pasta with the heart shaped pepperoni on top. There you go. You didn't see that. Oh. Um, heart shaped pepperoni. We need pictures to prove it. And there were the heart shaped uh, red pepper on the vegetarian. Mm. Yeah, this is good. It's, that's good. Yeah, very versatile. Uh, Pinot Grigio. This is the Masi Masianco 2020. And so, how's the logo? Uh, the it's logo. Kind of busy to me. It, it's very really old like school, label. don't you think? Look at look at this. It's so it's old school. Cute. It's like straight out of some like um, um, some Italianate What's building. What's the price point on this? In Rome or something. How much does it cost? This is, I think, like uh, not too expensive. This is like just north of ten bucks. Okay. Yeah, Does it have a good website? Um, the website is okay. I'm, I'm more interested in the label here. Um, I like the... It's very old school. It's like, as I said, it's very Italianate. You know, look at those, um, you know, those, the leaves well, and sure everything. It's, 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 so, it's so old school. I don't know what they're trying to do. They're, they're trying well, to say... I think it's one, the, it's one of those typefaces that I never used, but I always kept in my, in my computer. They have like the regular typeface, and then they have the condensed typeface, and they have the bold typeface. And it's all right. It's kind of yeah. monochromatic. It don't doesn't show give, give you any uh, 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 vignette. It doesn't show you anywhere where you're supposed to, like where you're supposed to look at first. I mean, granted, the yeah the wine name is the biggest, but the name of the comp of the vineyard is as big too. So it's they, almost like they didn't have any ideas. They just like grabbed something of some Italian, uh, you know, building. They, they, cheated and they just cheated and they said, well, let's just stamp this on our Pinot mm -hmm. Grigio and be done with it. So I think they haven't put any effort in it. It looks nice. It's not bad looking, but they could have done a better job. So why are there wines coming out of Europe that are twist tops? Because it's cheaper? Um, it's cheaper. I think cork is getting more expensive. Portugal is the only place that sells cork right now. Really? Yeah. And so... There's a cork embargo? It's a cork embargo. Because and it's so because, it's because they're Chinese. And there, there you go. That's funny. And the China and China is <laughs> buying up all of Portugal anyway. So, <laughs> China is buying up Portugal. Yes, literally. Okay. Um, the British used to own a bunch of Portugal because they used to get port from there. So, if you see Taylor Flatgate Port, that's actually a British company doing business in Portugal. Yeah. And now the Chinese are coming on and they're buying huge swaths of land, and so Portugal is becoming a very interesting place to be. And. People are trying to move away from Cork because of the price Cause, issues. Because of the Chinese. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, this is a screw top, not bad at all. Uh, again, this is available at Cobblestone Wine and Spritz. Get yourself one. Pinot Grigio Masi Masianco 2020. So next wine, Roscata Italia. Uh, they have a whole slew of different kinds of wines. They have the, from dark, super dark. They have a Blanco which is really comes out white, they have a rosé, and they have a mm -hmm. Prosecco wine that's a bubbly red wine, which I didn't drink, but it was on the website. The website's pretty cool. Uh, it is very heavily developed, uh, a lot of pop-ins, pop-overs, but the user interface isn't very good because to get back to any place else, you have to go back to the homepage. So, mm. uh, 
but it's very, very, uh, very, the, the developer is very good. So, got a very nice logo. Uh, the problem is that logo, the map logo, was a tattoo for people who, in New York City during the 80s, who were bisexual. And if you had a tattoo <laughs> like that in your arm, it meant you were safe to talk to because you were bisexual or gay also. So, before you do your logo, do your research and find out what that means. So what is it? this? You know, I, I looked at this thing so, and it kind of reminded me. It's a bisexual wine. Maybe. No, I hope, I hope not. It's like. The, it's a red that wants to be white. Wines, it's, it's a, so our, our, dark the, question was, the question is, are dark wines sweet? When it comes to a blend of wines, you never show you what you're going to get with a red wine. You're going to get sweet. Yeah. You're get bubbly it's all over the place. So it says that this wine is bubbly, but we'll find out. Bubbly. Um, oh. Yep. The Riscato website has areas of the website where you can download the logo and download a picture of the label, which is kind of kind of weird. I don't know who would ever want to do that. But For the press, probably. Yeah, but it's pretty uh, accessible. Mm. So, uh, see, there's a Riscato Blanco, a Riscato Smooth. They stick back and forth between Italian and English for some reason. And the website has a whole lot of typos. That's when they were but there's a the Riscato, the Blanco, which is good as a pair of teeth, and they all say they're incredibly food friendly. So all the wines are incredibly food friendly, or the copywriter got bored and just put the same thing on every page. <laughs> so it says they use modern wine making te wine making techniques, which really means that they use the expensive grapes and they use, also use cheap grapes <laughs> to mm. make it to make it cheaper. But. Uh, so the white, the Blanco has some uh, very light peach, yellow apples taste, has only 8% alcohol. The Roscato Smooth, which is a smooth red blend, which is more of the expensive grapes and cheap grapes put together, uh, it's supposed to taste like raspberry, cherry, cherry, and vanilla, which I hope it isn't natural vanilla flavor. We'll mm. get to that later. Uh, so this one is a blend of three grapes, right? Well, we haven't this done that yet. We haven't done that yet. Okay. 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 We're getting list. okay. okay. We're still in the first the first row. No rice. And but the, no rush. the, the Riscato Smooth, uh, the Blanco is seven percent, sorry, eight percent alcohol. The Riscato Smooth is thirteen percent, which is pretty high for a wine. Mm. And then there's the Riscato Gold, which is a very good for say paired teeth, um, for with uh, to be ate, uh, eating the appetizer, which is usually a fish or a lighter dish or like a salad. And that's pretty light. It's only seven percent mm. alcohol. Then the there's Moscato, which has a very nice label, but it has again it has the uh, bisexual logo on it, <laughs> and the label has a whole lot of uh, outlining, which means it has the cool little uh, map, uh, the compass there it has a whole lot of blue outlines, which means there's a, it's it's an awful awful packaging look, <laughs> and that's. Uh, uh, has a very nice logo, <laughs> so a very bad logo treatment. And you have to add color behind your logo, you designed it wrong. And that's only 7% alcohol. And then there's a Prosecco, which is lighter, has green apples and citrus tastes. It persists in bubbles, but it's like a red wine Prosecco. I didn't know they made that. I thought Prosecco's were a white wine. It shows how much I know. We had some pink ones. Or a pink one, yes. They also have, they have a... Uh, uh, the Proseccos are always... Uh, it says to enjoy them chilled. But some of them, I'll get to that. Uh, there's the the Moscato Dark, which is very good. We'll get to that in the last. But then there's a Moscato, which is seven percent, and then there's a sparkling sweet red. It says serve at cool temperatures, but it says it's always supposed to be at thirty-two degrees. So remember back in the eighties or nineties when they had those ads for Coors, where it says Coors yeah. Coors beer is always supposed to be served cold and kept cold, <laughs> but then you'd go to the shop right or something, you see big stacks of Coors that are all served warm, and yeah. that really killed Coors for a while. Yeah, you're supposed to drink this prosecco, but it's always, always supposed to be kept cold, like milk, I guess. So, I uh, milk. but that's what it says. It's it's always, always must always be kept at thirty-two degrees, warmer and colder, but it says thirty-two, okay. and then that has a ten percent alcohol. Now we're going to get, then we get to Rosé Dulce, which is very pink looking. It also looks like a, a watered down Jolly Rancher. And so that's very good with Italian dishes, spicy foods, and more. Um, these are all 
reds, but they're all Prosecco, so some of them are Prosecco, so it's pretty good. Uh, some are pretty light. And now we have the Prosecco Dark. This is only 7% alcohol. Prosecco Dark. Yes. That's an interesting no, category. Roscato Dark. Roscato Dark. Okay. Uh, sorry, not Roscato. Sorry. But they all, they all says that they're bubbly. That's but it's very, not. very interesting. Okay. But it's not. So. It's probably not. It does look bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> It says the wine is fermented, the skin's of a temperature not more than 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. I don't know why an Italian website is giving degrees in Fahrenheit. In order to preserve the, preserve the fruity aroma. So it's aged in stainless steel tanks okay. instead of oak for some no reason. No oak anyway, so that's because good. Because it's no cheaper, oakies. I guess. And well, I mean, it's being, just a style. It is? It's a style. Oh, I thought it was just like... No, no. I mean, it's it just a matter of the winemaker's preference saying, hey... You're not oh. going to be doing oaky for this one. It could be an expensive one. Or again, that, that I, I'm showing my ignorance. I apologize. <laughs> so uh, this is bright and lively. It has overtones of black fruits, uh, berries and plum, combined with hints of coffee and chocolate, which Marianne liked. So it's pleasing, well-balanced to the palate. Hints of black cherries, but I said that. And excellent, <laughs> they will say, for all, next to all the wines, they have these pop-ins that show all different wines on the website. And it says, Excellent to be enjoyed by itself. And I quickly read that at first and I'm like, oh, you can drink this by yourself. Of course. If you don't have any friends, that's okay to drink by yourself. But also, idea pairing with meats and spicy dishes. So, this is for meats, heavy, uh, not to be served with uh, uh, fish dishes. So, it's. Let's give it a shot. It's more intense. And the twist, beautiful. Sweet. See, it's nice and dark. I mean, it's like I can barely see through it, even see. against this light, right? I mean, I can, I just cannot see anything. It's like completely mm -hmm. obscures the light. It's so thick and syrupy. It's better than what was it? What was it? The uh... Uh, the rosé dulce it might just be the picture they took but it looked like the you you diluted a, a watermelon jolly rancher it was so <laughs> so purpley pinkish but this this i would assume would be a very heavy tannic wine but you're supposed to look at this and you're supposed to see the lines and yeah the legs i think marianne mentioned that the legs right and so it's heavy in alcohol um which yeah, it's only 7%. smells like it. This is only 7%. Uh, it, yeah, that's that's interesting. But you see the, a lot of legs going on. So that's... The, the, res, the Riscato Smooth has 13%. So it's wow. almost double. Okay. Let's, let's give it a nose. Definitely smell a lot of the plums. Uh, blackberries. I smell a little bit of coffee going on here. I smell coffee, yeah. yeah. You smell chocolate, sweetie? I, I, there's a hint of chocolate. Not very yeah. obvious. Not sweetie. But I would rather... <laughs> It's milk chocolate, it's not dark. From today onwards, I am the new sweetie. <laughs> Mr. Sweetie. Mrs. You. Sweetie. Mrs. Sweetie. Hey now. <laughs> hey now. Don't talk to my official guy sitting here. It's Valentine's Day. Come on. Hey and now. it's 21st century. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, when you look at these, you can download the labels, the front, the logo, the front, lo front uh, label, or back label, for some bizarre reason. They want you to have everything. And a PDF. Of all the, yeah, all the marketing jargon. This one's growing on me. Like when I was in college, when we, instead of having a wine and cheese party, we used to have Mad Dog and Cheese Whiz, and uh, we would have little labels next to all the different kinds of Mad Dog because Mad Dog has seven flavors, by the way. <laughs> and next to all the little uh, cards of Mad Dog, it would say goes well with chicken. <laughs> it is smooth. Nice. It's kind of smooth. I mean, I was expecting that tannic aggressiveness to pop through, yeah. but it hasn't done that. It's 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 very fruity, and I think this would be a. I personally would prefer this for dessert. I don't know about you, but yeah. cheesecake. Cheesecake. There you go. It's for cheesecake. Yeah. Really? I mean, because <laughs> a lot of people think you can have this with <laughs> cake thing, and stuff. Right? Yeah, it goes well with cheesecake. You send us some cheesecake. Every time we have red wine, we're like. This yeah. could go well with cheesecake. Cheesecake, yeah, why not? <laughs> Free cheesecake. Donated by our, cheesecake. Our, our active listeners. <laughs> but this is a good dessert wine. Nice. To me, it's dessert wine. I mean, it's not like sweet, sweet, yeah. but it's it's good to be had with like cheesecake. 
cheese. It doesn't say it's for dessert. It doesn't? No. It doesn't, and that's interesting because they haven't With made that connection With red meats and spicy yet. dishes. Um, I red would disagree meats. completely. Mm -hmm. I would completely then disagree with the, that uh, observation. There's the dark... With, with the logo. And spicy, like spicy the, what? Like the chili? Don't say, this, would take, this would be good with this chili. This is spicy though. foods. Chili? Yeah. The sparkling red That would wine. work. Yeah. It says this nice. is really spicy though. But it says this is sparkling a little bit, which is kind of weird. I can't I see, see any sparkling on this. Well, that is weird. It is dark. Picture typos on your website. Mr. Roscato. Mr. Roscato. Mr. Roscato. Mr. Roscato. You know, Roscato. I, I, I said Roscato and it, it reminded me of Moscato. Thank you very much, Mr. Mm. Roscato. What's Moscato? Moscato Ros is the sweet stuff that we had Roscato. a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. Remember the Moscato, the Yasti, the bubbly yeah. that we had for oh, okay. um, it was wonderful. holiday one? That was very nice. The Bartanura. Oh, yes. Right? Do you remember that? Yeah. That's awesome. You remember all the names. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that it's smooth, not okay. That's one of the things I actually like about this mm -hmm. because they've given all the fruits they're due so to speak yeah. you know they haven't like shied away from the fruit this is all like all fruit here you are you know kind of thing that's cool what do you mean so some people try to kind of shy away from the food by saying oh here's some tannins for you some oak for you and that'll balance everything out but these guys are like no let the fruit play its part and let, let it shine through and i think the that's fruit? what happened saying fruit the fruit okay like a fruit compote which is shining through and mm -hmm. it's not being obscured by the tannins, you know. So it, it's a very fruity wine, mm. and I like it that way. You know, it, they, they're, they're genuine and they're they're real about it. That's what nice. I like about this wine. The website's really good. They have their own dedicated uh, sub web, uh, very well developed. There are lots of copy mistakes, which is pretty embarrassing, but. The typeface is a nice open face typeface, which means maybe they need a new marketing team. Yeah, maybe they do. <laughs> Sweet pie marketing. So the Scotto, the dark is very good. The website's very good. The open face typeface is pretty good. I don't see any holes in the logo. It's like a. I, I, it reminds me of like a fantasy show, a dark fantasy show. Yeah. Right? It's like, hey, is that kind of... Uh, all the logos are pretty good. Yeah, you can download is. them all for some bizarre reason. There you go. If you want to you know, knock yourself out. Yeah. You can copy it. Yeah. So, uh... So each of these wines serve different purposes, right? Yeah. So this is great with seafood, uh, chicken, turkey pasta that we just had. Mm -hmm. um, all around great wine. You know, can go wrong for the price. Uh, Ten bucks, more or less. How much was the Roscato? The Roscato is, I think, uh, 12 plus okay. that's so pretty good they're like six yeah. or seven different kinds the website's very nice yeah uh, some proseccos some dark proseccos the marketing is kind of weird because you're supposed to keep it cold all the time but i'm sure if you buy it there you're gonna buy it warm yeah um but but this is a good rosés. yeah this is good wine for the money and it, it's it's true to its uh, objective of uh, being a dessert wine almost uh, you could have a steak and stuff, but I would. I would Actually, none of them said dessert ones. They all said they're with uh, aperitifs. Just... Uh, there's a blanca, there's a rose, aperitifs, uh, served with uh, pastas or meats. This is a dark, they said to be served with meats. I'll have to challenge the winemaker to do some jiu jitsu yeah. one of these days this, could... because I, I don't agree with them at all. You can do that and you can fix all the typos on their website. There you go. Me do jiu jitsu, you fix the typos. How's that? Yeah, sure. I'm done. Just keep so, going. thanks for watching. I'm CJ. I'm Ashish, and uh, thank you for watching again. Uh, again, this is being sponsored by Copperstone Wine and Spirits in Ocean Dash in New Jersey. And uh, get Link, your bottles. Links in the bio. There you go. And get your bottles. Tracy Design Podcast. Yes. We are down the show marketing and have this with your appetizers and this with your dinners. Yeah. Although, uh, Sheesh wants you to have it with your desserts too. I think Sheesh Absolutely. just wants you to have lots of wine. Yes, with your desserts. So keep drinking, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Have a good one.